Welcome back. Continuing with our entrepreneurial series, we welcome today fashion designer Dina Al-Jissid. After initially starting out in the jewellery making business, Dina turned her creative passion to designing pret à porter dresses to make women feel confident and fabulous. On to you, Yumna. Thank you, Sophie. Yes, today we have the pleasure to welcome Dina Al-Jissid in our studios. And I read here in your introduction, after a 10-month internship at Rabia Kairouz, you went from designing jewelry to designing your own dresses. And exactly. three collections after, here you are. So tell me a bit how that shift came about. Well, when I, I went to London for the reason to actually study fashion design, and then I moved to Central St. Martin, I did the foundation course. And basically, it's a course you do everything in art. And I fell in love in the jewelry process and the handcraft, making my hands and attacking the machines. So that's when I moved to jewelry. And, and when I graduated, I went to Jamalji Diamond Color Stone Grading. And then I moved to Lebanon and I studied fashion. And I was working actually before that in Azdeco. It's an architecture interior and design company. And next to it, there was a shop that basically uh, sells uh, fabric uh, curtains and things like that. And uh, finding myself confused, I fell in love with those curtains. I used them and uh, I started making dresses for some friends. Out of the curtains? Out of the curtains. And what was the response like? Uh, they were actually, they really liked it. They were very, you know, people, they, my friends were coming and asking for me to try to make them something different and all that stuff. And that's when I realized I fell in love with fashion. And this is exactly what I wanted to do from the beginning, ever since I was young. So I what is it? What is it you <coughs> like about fashion exactly? Uh, I love it's fashion. It's everywhere. You know, it's everyone. Like you have to wear dress. You have to dress up. But the beauty about dresses and fashion in general, it really makes the woman look so beautiful and so elegant, and it gives you confidence. And uh, we're showing some of these dresses on the on the uh, television right now. And like you said, you were working at Azdeco, and you were inspired. And you are still inspired by architect. If you could just tell us, you see the print there in the design. So each dress is basically inspired by the architecture beneath it. Am I correct? Exactly. Okay. What I try to do is uh, basically uh, the inspiration of an architect. I choose an architect that I like. And from that inspiration, I, uh, I make it quite obvious. So the person that knows about the architecture work of this, uh, the architect, basically I use that and I put it on my dresses. So they, they can relate. And it's, uh, it helps me also to create uh, very geometric patterns. Uh, right, we notice very geometric patterns. We notice a lot of pleats. Exactly. A very clean cut edge. So what exactly does, what, have you, what has been the feedback? What do women tell you they feel when they wear your dresses? Uh, the feedback so far was, has been really, really good. They loved the fact that it's geometric and it's different, but at the same time, it's mixed with a dress that's quite elegant and simple. And uh, actually, I've had someone that was told me, you know, it gave me so much confidence and uh, it makes her feel fabulous, which is really what I'm trying to aim. It's a woman to wear the dress and feel fabulous and to feel out there. Okay, and that's, and that's what you're doing. Three collections after. I have a few fashion <laughs> questions because as somebody who reads a lot about fashion, we still don't know a lot. And we were talking about this earlier. And I wanted, you told me the difference between haute couture and prêt à porter mm -hmm. luxe and prêt à porter. And can you just tell this to our audience who think they know, but some, some of them may not haute know. Couture, really. Haute couture is basically dresses that are customized for people. And it's hours and hours and hours of work that is being done to make such a dress, uh, which you see a lot sometimes on red carpets and things like so that. That's Beyonce it's and J-Lo exactly. calling <laughs> up Carl Lagerfeld and telling him we want an haute couture <laughs> Chanel. Chanel dress okay. or something. Uh, prêt à porter luxe is basically a line that's starting to develop new. It's getting out there now and everything. And it's a line between haute couture and prêt à porter, which is basically there is the certain handwork, but much less hours of time. And uh, but the finishing and the fabric, everything is high end. It's really good quality and everything. And prêt à porter, it's also still good, it's a very good quality, but it's something that's more in factories that's faster to be able to make. So when you go into a shop and you just pick a dress, you're getting basically prêt-à-porter. Prêt porter. Okay. So this is the, my line, which is prêt-à-porter luxe, but there's the handwork, which gives it in between, that gives it the word luxe, between haute couture and prêt-à-porter. And where are you selling right now at the moment? I'm um, selling at the moment in um, Saks, uh, Sussex Avenue in Saudi, Riyadh. Uh, we have Hala for the future collection, for the upcoming collection, spring, summer. We have in Kuwait. Uh, I have Sophie's Choice here already. Uh, we have in uh, 
Qatar. Uh, we sell also in uh, two uh, shops in Paris, La Folie 2 and Giselle So. Okay. And then we have two online, which is Dia and... Uh, so it's been quite. It's been, Fayette, it's been doing awesome. quite well it's since you've started off. It's doing really good. It's been three years now. It's been uh, two years actually. Two years. Okay. Three, three collections. collections. The fourth one's coming up soon. So it's usually how does it work? It's spring, summer. Spring, summer. Then you have fall, winter. So every six months you have a collection, but the collection comes out a year in advance. Ahead. Okay. Ahead. Exactly. That's how it works. You start designing it, you know, advance. And <laughs> what is? But you started off in jewelry making. So is there hope that you will continue eventually in jewelry making to uh, kind of accessorize your dresses and your ensemble? Uh, of course. I studied it five years. So it's something, and something nice about it that uh, you can mix it with fashion. But I wanted to do it one step at a time. You know, I want to be able to finalize, make sure that my fashion line is steady and everything. And then I'll jump to the jewelry and it's nice to mix it together also on the dresses to have certain pieces of jewelry that are quite geometric and have you gotten to do that already or not yet uh, I have the inspiration and I have the designs every time but I haven't gotten yet I felt like it's not I'm not ready yet to start with something else I just want to make sure that I'm accomplishing my line first Dina and, and what is what can we expect from Dina Jessen in the next year in 2013 because this is this is actually one of our last interviews for this before the holidays and before the new year so what can we expect from you for the next year? For the next collection and in the next year, actually now I'm charging myself a lot in terms of fabrics. So I'm creating my own fabrics. I'm using my own prints. I'm using new techniques like embossed and those kind of techniques. By the way, if our audience doesn't know, she is wearing a Dina Gisev dress <laughs> there. So for all the people who are watching, it's beautiful, by the Thank way. You. Very, very nice. <laughs> Thank you. And That's the are, you, are you hoping for the uh, Oscar moment? Like Elisab got with Halle Berry. Of course, and I'm hoping, hopefully, I'm hoping uh, when the right person feels the connection with my dresses, she'll be able to pick it, whoever the celebrity. And then it will be. become Dina Jesser Haute Couture. No, it'll be uh, still a pret a pret because okay. they're picking from the pret a pret Haute Couture, unless I design specifically for someone, which if I get, of course, I'll do it happily. Uh, it'll be still pret a pret but it'll be on the red carpet. Okay. Well, thank you very much for being with us <laughs> Thank today. you so much. That was Dina Gisset, fashion designer and perhaps future fashion icon. Back to you, Sophie.